Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Tuesday, April the 21st. It's late in the afternoon. It's about 3.30. <laughs> I just now got my shower and got myself to go and I'm soaking wet with sweat. Uh, still just having um, not really a, a bad day or feeling real sick, but just feeling very weak. Um, Y'all know I have been sick for over two weeks now. I was sick you know, even before I got the COVID-19 test. So, um, you know, I am trying my best to stay out of bed as much as I possibly can, although that was not possible this morning. I um, I got up and Jill made my breakfast and brought it up to me, and I had my coffee, and we sat and talked for a few minutes, and then she went back down to take care of the children. Issa started out having a bad morning. I don't even remember what it was about. I think it was about his egg sandwich wasn't fixed the right way. <laughs> Y'all, if that was all we had to worry about was how our egg sandwich was fixed, uh, we'd have a life of leisure, wouldn't we? But um, I'm gonna this. I'm gonna. I'll read a prayer today out of my um, prayers, the Jermaine Copeland prayer book. I did find a prayer that's very relevant to. The times that we're living in right now and it's a long prayer so I won't um, gab on too long and keep y'all here all day but I think you will enjoy this prayer but I did want to show you the rest of the Easter course that I have received so far I'm sure there are more in my post office box but it's still going to be a few days before I go out and, and check my mail but this one is from my very good friend Lisa and Lisa lives down on Treasure Island, Florida. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Lisa. You've been such a devoted and faithful subscriber of mine. And I really love you and appreciate you with all my heart. Look at this beautiful Easter card. It has little ducks on it and little carrots. Just adorable. <laughs> Y'all have such good taste when it comes out to choosing cards. One of the miracles Easter time brings is a feeling of closeness to all living things. The lengthening days warm the heart and the earth in a beautiful season of joy and rebirth. The happy sights and sounds of springtime always seem to bring thoughts of special people like you. May this beautiful time of year fill the hearts of you and those you love with all the wonderful joys of Easter. Hi, Miss Glenda. Much love to you and the kids. Your friend always, Lisa. And what I do, I put the date. If if the sender didn't already put the date on it, I put the date on the inside. And then I keep them. I have a nice, beautiful box that I keep all my cards in. And this one is from uh, Glenda. Another Glenda, and she lives in Molina, Florida. And I had not heard from Glenda in a while, so I sent her an email to check on her. And then I got this beautiful um, Easter card. Thank you, Glenda. You're so sweet. And you have good taste, too. Look how cute. A little Easter bunny. Wishing you Easter happiness. Glenda, wishing you an Easter filled with the happiest moments and the warmest memories any special day can bring. Hi, Glenda, wishing you a wonderful Easter. Hope you get to spend it with your sweet family. Best wishes, Glenda. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate getting this card from you. It's always so good to hear from my friends down in Florida. I think I did. I show y'all this one the other day from Tammy. It's from my wonderful friend Tammy. Yeah, I think I did. I think I read some of this to y'all. And this is from um, Peachy. And Peachy lives down in Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, sweetheart. How are you today? And this is a Thinking of You card. It's so pretty. Are those um, peonies or mums? What are those? They remind me of those big mums that we used to wear um, when I was in high school on uh, homecoming in the fall in October. We would get them from the floors. Big, beautiful mums. 
Dear Glenda, hoping and praying you and your family are doing well. Oh, I don't have a computer at home anymore, so I can't keep up with your escapades <laughs> since the libraries are closed. Well, hopefully they won't be closed too much longer and you and I can go on some more escapades together. And this is from Sharon, and Sharon lives in Florida also. Thank you so much, Sharon, for always thinking about me. You're so generous with your time and your gifts. I appreciate you from the bottom, bottom of my heart. Now, Sharon was sick a couple of months ago, and now that she thinks back and, and hears all the symptoms of the coronavirus, she does think that she had it back then. And um, I think a lot of y'all are telling me that you think you had it already, and I, I do believe you. I think that it has been around for a while. Look how cute. More little bunny rabbits. Happy Easter. To my best friend, Glenda. Oh, you're so precious. Thinking warm and fuzzy thoughts of you. Have a wonderful Easter. Love, Sharon. Thank you, sweetheart. So I'm going to add these to my card collection and my box and keep them forever. Now, I was telling y'all the other day that I have my bed stored here, the nice bed that Jill bought for me. Um, actually, she let me buy it on her Macy's credit card. So I have it leaning up against the wall here, and then I just have my bedspread thrown over it. One of my subscribers told me that the wallpaper, that we had hung the wallpaper on the wrong way because... Y'all remember the other side of the bed, my bedspread had those medallions on it, and they were going this way. So I tried to explain to my subscribers, it's, it's not wallpaper, it's just my bedspread. Anyway, Issa, before I got sick and he was allowed in my bedroom, which he's not allowed in my bedroom once we put him to bed. So if I, I had gone into the bathroom to brush my teeth, and while I was in the bathroom, he snuck out of his room and hid back behind the mattress. So I came in here and took my clothes off and went to put my gown on. And he comes out from behind the mattress and he goes, Grandma, everything is pointing down. <laughs> oh, Lordy. And I just hope and pray that that little boy, that, that, uh, picture that he saw, that vision he saw of his grandma doesn't stick in his brain forever. <laughs> Once you see something, you can't unsee it. Poor little thing, but he was very nice and kind the way that he described my, my drooping boobs and <laughs> my drooping body. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go ahead and read this prayer. And um, y'all, I will leave the, the book in my I don't have it in my Amazon store, but I can put it in there. Uh, I guess I'll have to make a book with uh, a new uh, list with books. But I know y'all would love this book. And it's it's very inexpensive. It's less than $15, I believe. But this was gifted to me from my really good friend who lives down in Slidell, Louisiana, Beverly. And I have just enjoyed this so much. So I'm going to read a prayer. It's a long prayer, so y'all just join with me and bear with me. Handling the day of trouble or calamity. During a time of trouble or calamity, it is sometimes difficult to remember the promises of God. The pressures of the moment may seem overwhelming. At such times, it is often helpful to read, meditate on, and pray the entire chapter of Psalm 91. I know y'all leave Psalm 91 referenced in a lot of my comments, so thank you for that. It is a good, a good chapter. It may be that during a stressful time, you will find this entire prayer too long. If so, draw from the scriptures, including in the following prayer. You may find yourself praying one paragraph or reading it aloud to yourself or to your family and friends. I also encourage you to meditate on this prayer during good times. At all times, remember that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And that's Romans ten seventeen. And this is the prayer. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus, acknowledging you as my refuge and high tower. You are a refuge and a stronghold in these times of trouble. 
uh, the COVID-19 virus, the high cost of living, people being out of work, destitution, desperation, depression, fear. In the day of trouble, you will hide me in your shelter, in the secret place of your tent will you hide me. You will set me high upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. In your tent, I will offer sacrifices and shouting of joy. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to you, O Lord, hear. O Lord, when I cry aloud, have mercy and be gracious to me and answer me. On the authority of your word, I declare that I have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When I cry for help, you, Lord, hear me and deliver me out of all my distress and troubles. You are close to me, for I am of a broken heart, and you save such who are crushed with sorrow for sin and are humbly and thoroughly penitent. Lord, many are the evils that confront me. You deliver me out of them all. Thank you for being merciful and gracious to me. O oh God, for my soul takes refuge and finds shelter and confidence in you. Yes, in the shadow of your wings. Isn't that wonderful to think about God's mighty wings stretching out and, and protecting us and sheltering us from evil and, and sickness and heartache and sorrow. You perform on my behalf and reward me. You bring to pass your purposes for me, and surely you complete them. Father, you are my refuge and strength, mighty and impenetrable to temptation, a very present and well-proved help in trouble. Doesn't that give us comfort? Lord, you have given and bequeathed to me your peace. By your grace, I will not let my heart be troubled neither will I let it be afraid. We really need to hold on to this promise because this is a time that um, unprecedented. You know, we've never lived through anything like this. The the Great Depression and, and the difficult times before the war and and um, the World War II, a lot of us are baby, bomber, baby bombers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe not boomers, but boomers. <laughs> Many of us are baby boomers, <laughs> and we don't remember the hard times. So we're faced with a lot of difficulty in our world that we've never been faced with before. Lord, you have given and bequeathed to me your peace. By your grace, I will not let my heart be troubled. Neither will I let it be afraid. With the help of the Holy Spirit, I will stop allowing myself to be afraid and agitated and disturbed. And I refuse to permit myself to be fearful and intimidated and coward and unsettled. By faith, I respond to these troubles and calamities. I am full of joy now. I exult and triumph in my troubles and rejoice in my sufferings. This is a little difficult to read. <laughs> it's it's hard to for me to to really to bring myself to exult and triumph in my troubles and and rejoice in my sufferings. You know that's just being human to not be able to to do that, knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship produce patient and unserving endurance. Yes, it it does produce patience, but it is hard to come by, isn't it? And endurance, which is fortitude, develops maturity of character, and character produces the habit of joyful and confident hope of eternal salvation. Such hope never disappoints or deludes or shames me, for your love has been poured out of my heart through the Holy Spirit who has been given to me. This is just beautiful. I, I love this book. But um, I wanted to tell y'all about one of my subscribers. Her name is Rachel Ball. Um, I did pin her comment on one of my videos, one of my COVID-19 videos. Uh, she has been diagnosed with the COVID-19 virus. So uh, y'all please uh, remember Rachel Ball in your prayers. And let's lift her up and, and ask God to heal her, to ease her pain and suffering, and to get her through this. Um, 
and on the other side of this and be in good health and strength. So we'll pray for Rachel now. And y'all please bow with me and let's have a, a prayer. Our dear, most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for bringing us together here on my YouTube channel. Thank you, dear God, for the opportunity to, to have this platform in which we can share our love for one another, our heartache, our troubles, and our pain. And I just pray, dear God, that you will just be with all of my subscribers today, but especially I pray for Rachel Ball, who is suffering with a COVID-19 illness. Dear God, I just pray that you would just bring healing over her and just protect her, dear God, and fulfill her needs. Dear God, please protect all of us. And I pray that you will please just let there be a vaccine discovered soon to protect us all against this horrible plague that is um, all over our world, not just in America, but in every country. Oh, dear God in heaven, we just pray for peace, that you would just uh, deliver us from fear and that you will forgive us for all of our sins. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. So I just want to thank you so much for being here with me today and for listening to my Bible scripture reading and listening to my prayer and for praying along with me. I do appreciate y'all so much. And I just um, ask you to please give me a thumbs up and y'all share my videos with your friends and family and your co-workers and neighbors. And y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.